Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get rare in Animal Jam Play Wild. Now before anyone says anything, I am not sure if this works on Animal Jam PC because Animal Jam Play Wild and Animal Jam PC are two completely different platforms. The cool news about this video is that you will not need a membership for every step. So all of you non-members out there, you guys can become rare as well. Now, I know that I am not the rarest jammer myself because I only have a neon green firefly set, which I'm working on getting more, and forest gauntlets. Forest gauntlets are not the rarest item in the game, so I will be teaching you guys how to get way higher items, but I'm working on getting you guys giveaway items, that's why I don't have much. Alright, so you guys are probably like, oh my god, Fox, stop rambling on, get with the video. So, here are a few ways to get rare in Animal Jam Play Wild. Okay, so the first way is for members only, so if you don't have a membership, you're fine. Just make sure to save your sapphires and have your buddies help you get sapphire drops. So basically, you're going to need 400 sapphires, and you're going to need to go to the sapphire shop. And in the sapphire shop, you're going to see a shield in the corner. Um, and you're going to click the shield, and it's going to have you buy a mo one month membership with sapphires. Alright, so once you have a membership, you have to either create a pack or join a pack. My pack is free for anyone to come in. Um... I'm just doing it for the fun of it, but um, basically you can get like your gem tree and you can also get um, items in the pack chest. Now the pack chest doesn't always have items, but you can also get sapphires and gems like I did this time. So basically the whole point of like a pack is to do pack runs and gather points to collect sets like the firefly set, um, which can go for a lot of items. And as you can see here, I'm trying to find a chest to get, like, an item. You can get crazy betas. So the final thing um, for what you can do with memberships to get free rares is to buy stuff from people's shops. You can get crazy den betas. Like, I've seen lots of great, good den betas and clothing betas. So if there's something in a shop that is priced too high, you can put a price on your own items and sell it for a good amount of sapphires and go to the person who owned something that you wanted and buy it. Alright, so this tip does work for any jammer. It does not have to be a member. So basically, um, go on to your treasure hunts and try to get the item. I know everyone tries to do it, but try to get that item in every color. If you didn't get, if you didn't get the item that was in the treasure hunt, I would suggest watching an ad to get it again because it, these items can help you, especially um, spikes and sea star glasses. So if you didn't know this trick already, um, you can buy more of the same animal that you have, like three of the same animal, say, like say wolves. If you have three of wolves, it'll give you three more keys to open up all right the next way is rare item mondays i think we all know about this on mondays there is a special rare out in shops that you can buy now i couldn't find it today but i'm sure i'll find it somewhere um it might not be in uh gem art clothing um, all the time. It could be in the sapphire shop. It could be a den item. You never know. It could be anywhere, to be honest. But, um, rare item Mondays, if you keep them long enough, they could be very, very rare items in the future. Alrighty, guys. That's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Um, I couldn't fit it all in today's video, but I still have, like, loads more tips um so like for part two or part three because there might just be one um stay safe happy easter i love you all thank you so much for watching i'll see you later bye bye